Hello, hello, welcome back to the Vintage Warlock channel. I hope you are all safe and well. Today we are having a look at a Casio, but not just any Casio, the Casio DW290. This watch is ugly. I mean, it is an ugly watch, but I absolutely love it. And this watch has Hollywood credentials. So what's not to love about it? You've got an ugly watch, that's a Casio. It's got Hollywood credentials. Oh, and did I mention, you can readily find it for under £30 in the UK. So, to give you its full name, the Casio DW290-1V, one of the shortest of the references in Casio, you've got a case diameter of 46.8 millimetres, a lug-to-lug -lug of 50.6 millimetres, and a height of 14.3 millimetres. However, it only weighs 56 grams because it's on a resin band. There is some stainless steel at the back, uh, but it's mainly just resin. 200 metres of water resistance, two-year battery life, mineral glass, you've got all the basic features that you would expect from a Casio at this price, a stopwatch, a timer, an hourly um, alarm signal, a flash alert feature, light, light colour, calendar, um, the accuracy is within 15 seconds per month, and the other features that round this off is a 12 to 24 hour format, regular timekeeping as well, which goes from hour, minute, second, time of day, month, date, and day now despite those case measurements of 46 millimeters and 50 millimeter lug to lug this watch does wear really well and one of the reasons that it wears so well is that the bands of the watch just come straight down meaning that even if you have a smaller wrist you can still wear this watch regularly and still find it a really good fit to add to the likeness of things with the resin band, you've also got this 200 meters of water resistance, which in my opinion is more than adequate for any watch like this. Most of the Casios within this price range will only give you 100 meters of water resistance. This in effect almost makes it like a G-Shock, but on a cheaper price tag. The second part that I really like about this watch as well is yes, it's got mineral glass, but it's recessed into the watch itself, which means that it does have that protection as well from you banging it. Um, let's say you're going swimming on the beach and you're banging it on rocks if you're going to a rock beach or if you're playing any sports for example let's say you're running or you're doing any other sort of type of energetic sport you can be wearing this watch and still have that peace of mind that a it's not that expensive anyway if you were to break it it doesn't really matter but also you've got a watch that is for lack of a better phrase just bulletproof so despite all of these great features and benefits some people still hate this watch and I can sort of understand why this watch is Marmite so for those of you who don't know Marmite is a spread in the UK some people love it some people hate it and I happen to fall into the category of love it not just for Marmite but this watch as well for me it's like the little engine that could it's ugly yes but it's functional and I think it actually wears quite well and for me it's a watch that you put on and you think to yourself yeah this is definitely a sports watch it is a watch that is meant to be beaten and thrown around and will come out of it the other end still working now I'm not alone in that motion there are people who absolutely agree with me that they think that despite the downfall of this watch with its looks and being quite marmite it is quite endearing and people want to wear it there are the likes of the mad watch collector and tgv on one side of the camp who do like this watch and on the other side of the fence you've got people like jody from just one more watch who just can't get on with it and again i can't blame them this watch is really down to your personal preference there are so many different casios at this price that are available and i can really understand some people not liking the design and some people opting to go for things that are a little straighter or a little cleaner or going for things that are a bit more out there or spending a little bit more money and getting a g-shock however the one thing that i think really attracts people to buying this watch in particular aside from the reviews on youtube is the fact that this watch does have real life hollywood credentials in the form 
of Tom Cruise. I almost said Tom Hanks then. (laughs) Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible, 1996 in Mission Impossible. Since that film came out, this watch was the first one that he wore. Since then, he's worn a couple of other Casios. I think Casio G-Shocks. And I think he's also moved on to Tudor as well. So I think I might do a movie series around some of these watches in films, especially in these espionage and spy films, because it tends to be a main and central theme behind a lot of these films is having a nice watch. So having a look at that might be something that I could do in a future video. And it's been ages since I've seen it. I think I'm going to watch it again, actually, at the end of this video, um, just because it was a pretty good film from what I remember. Um, But it was the third highest grossing film of 1996. Wow. And obviously it went on to spawn the sequel, uh, Mission Impossible 2, which was released in 2000. And then obviously from there, it just gave birth to a huge series, a giant. And there's a new film coming out this year, I believe. One of the biggest problems I found with this watch is finding it at the right price. So Six months ago, I was able to buy this watch for around £30, which I thought then would be about what you'd want to pay for it. But it seems to be that I got an incredible deal on it because since then, the cheapest price I've been able to find is £40.16. pence. I'm not sure how much that is in dollars. I'll have a look and put it in the description. Um, But that was on Amazon. Uh, on eBay, I've seen them going for stupid prices uh, up to £75 or even over £100, which you don't even want to pay that much for some G-Shocks, let alone a normal sort of Casio. Um, on the Casio website, they seem to have gone, they seem to have gone a little bit higher than Amazon and have it at $49.95. Um, so I guess that's sort of the amount that you want to pay for it. But really, for me, I managed to get it for a good price. I think if you hunt around on eBay, on Amazon, and uh, if you are able to have a look at some of the bargain centers within uh, the countries that you're in, whether it's America and you go to somewhere like Target or Walmart, or if you're in the UK and you go to Argos or Asda or places like that that may sell Casios, you might find it at a cheaper price or a reduced rate. But I think they are becoming harder to come by now here is my final verdict the casio dw290 dash 1v should you buy it uh well yeah in my opinion it's a nice watch i i've worn it and i continue to wear it however the caveat that i'm going to put in place here is that you need to buy it for the right price there's no point going out there spending 40 50 60 70 80 dollars or pounds on a watch like this it is just not worth it you're better off getting a world timer or another sort of casio uh lineup and saving and waiting until you find this watch at a decent price i've been looking around and as i mentioned before at the beginning of the video the cheapest at the moment is for £40 on Amazon, just about passable in my opinion. However, I would always look for lower. I think £30, £30-35 is the absolute maximum that I would be paying for this watch and I wouldn't pay a penny more. So the Casio DW290, what do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Do you own this watch? Have you owned this watch for a while as well? Give us your honest review in the comments and in the feedback. I've had this watch for six months. I find nothing wrong with it. However, you may have had it for longer. There may be something lingering uh, in the back of your mind or some sort of pale of hatred when you look at this watch. And uh, yeah, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear it and find out. Um, If you haven't already, please like, uh, share, and subscribe to my channel like the video uh, share it with your mates do whatever you can follow me on instagram underneath Uh, there are links underneath there's my personal instagram which has my entire sort of uh, i guess mad life in there and then you've got the channel one as well which is just purely about the watches so you can be completely impersonal and just follow me for the watches anyway guys if you're on uh, instagram you can follow me on there i'll have another video out next week stay safe and i will see you guys in a new video